Hi everyone and thanks for joining me. Today we're going to be making some little wax noses and these are noses that you know you can make any kind of shape style to fit on your creatures and creations. I'm not working on a, a project at the moment that, that needs a nose so what I've done is I've just made up a, a quick little sort of head shape and I'm going to pop the, a nose on the end here. Let me get my little ferret in here. As you can see, this is a nose that is actually made from wool and wax, which is the technique I'm going to show you today. Let me get him up close. And they can look really realistic. They can really make your, your creatures stand out. And they are uh, very, very durable. If you can hear. You know, it's a good, good solid nose. And I'm going to show you how to make them. I'm going to uh, be doing a little pink nose for this little head here. And I have some of our flesh wax blend. And I will pop the link of that below in the description box. This is a wax blend, but you can do everything that I'm doing right here with uh, just plain beeswax. So the first thing I'm going to do is just pull off a bit of this wool because I don't want too much. So the way that I do this, and there are no hard and fast rules here, and this is something that you might want to play with yourself. I fold it back in half, then turn it through 90 degrees and fold it back again or kind of scooch it back so we've got kind of a bit of a ball shape going on here with this sort of fluffy tail and what we're going to do is we're just going to apply wax to this tip all of this fluff back here is what we're going to use later on to attach it So let's get this in here and we're just going to dab the end, not too much. And now we wait, which is the part that I have the problem with because I usually just want to get my fingers straight in there. But you actually do want to let this cool down as it cools down. Uh, it becomes almost like a, a putty when it works into the walls. It's very mouldable, it's very pliable, but you have to wait. So um, usually I just get my fingers right in there and I get it everywhere. But I will be good today and I will wait uh, a little bit. Uh, other tools. Let's talk about other tools, which I've got over here. These are just some basic sculpting tools. Uh, a ball tool you will find very useful for sort of sticking in and making nostrils. And then I have a set of metal tools that I bought from uh, eBay. And I particularly like these because they've got this sort of little spatula rounded sort of end on this and then a nice little sort of carving edge on the other but there's a whole set of them and the thing I like about the metal tools is that when this really starts um, you know setting if you do want to make some indentations and things you can uh, touch these to your hot plate and it will warm up the end so it will kind of cut into the wax quite nicely okay so I think I've waited enough it's still quite warm so always do work over something like um, wax or greaseproof paper. So all we're going to do is just work this wax into the end. And you do want to keep the wax at the end. Um, you don't want it travelling too much down into this fluffiness. So I'm kind of grabbing it here. And I'm really, really working it looks horrendous, but bear with me. 
Okay, so when it gets to this nice pliable stage, you can just bend it over, work it in on itself. And you're just going to start by getting it really worked into the fibres. See, that looks nothing like a nose, but that's okay. So I'm going to fold it over. And now all of a sudden we start seeing a little nose shape. Again, I'm getting a bit of a wax build up, so I'm going to scooch that back towards there. Okay, so we've got sort of a little wax and wool nose shape. And now we're going to put some nostrils and some shaping. So for that, I'm going to grab this little ball tool and work it in there. And this really is now where, you know, artistic license takes over. There are so many different shapes and styles of noses. Um, that is just a very, very simple little nose with a couple of nostrils um you can oops it does get very messy you can elongate them like so i mean i am being very rough and quick with this but you can make indentations you can make scoring as and you can go oh my gosh I completely messed it up oh no and it's very very simple when it's still in this pliable stage just roll it out just roll it out work it back into a nose smooth out the wax over the top this is starting to get a little bit hard now and you can see I've got where I've sort of squashed it back in. I've got some lines and stuff. It's not a problem. I'm just going to touch it to my wax plate very, very gently. And then just smooth it back out. You can add a little bit more wax over the top. It really is so forgiving. So it's just, I'm going to touch this to my hot plate so it will go in a bit better. like so. I've got quite a lot of wax that have sort of seeped out into my wool. If that happens with you, then you can, once this is dried, just take a pair of scissors and cut close to your nose. And you can take your nose and actually super glue it on. I like the wool around so that when you put it on your creation, you kind of felt this, it, it won't go in there because there's so much wax build up. But one of the things that you can do is apply heat here and remelt this wax. And the most of it will come out onto a paper towel if you heat this and uh, squish a paper towel. But let's try and do that get a piece of paper towel so let's let me get rid of this I'm going to use my wax melter a um, a hot gun would probably do the same thing so I am just pressing down on this but let me get a better camera angle 
Okay, so I've moved this over so you can perhaps get a, a slightly better look on this. I've got my hot plate here and I just want to push this little wax. Normally I would use um, a hot air gun, but I don't have that to hand. So I'm just using what I've got and I'm just taking, it actually is quite hot, so do be careful. And it's just soaking out into the paper. So that is one way that if you do get a build up of wax, you know, right close to your your project, your nose, then you can melt it out. I've still got quite a bit here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pull this off. You don't need much to attach the nose to your project just a little bit there we go I need to just put my nostril back in there a bit clearer there we go okay so when you come to apply it do you realize how rough this is put your nose on all of this comes back and then grab your needle and just work the fibers into your project you'll then overlay your top coat now i've got far too much wax built up in the sides here so i won't really get a needle through there So I'm going to take that back off and I'm going to grab a pair of scissors this is the other way that you can do this is just cut around your nose once you've got the shape that you like This is still a little, little too warm, but you can then glue it to your creation and then build up obviously the rest of the head from that point. So I hope you get the, the idea. It's very useful to be able to make your own little noses and then wax them like so. And then it will come out. I think this one may have been glued on. It's one of those things where you practice, you know, make yourself a whole little range of noses. The wax that I've used here is our own wax blend and I will put uh, a link in the description. Uh, it currently comes in three colours which is uh, natural black and flesh tone. And there is another little tutorial or overview rather of that wax on my YouTube channel as well. Uh, don't also forget to check out uh, the Realistic Ratty Feet and the Realistic Wax is, they're also on the YouTube channel. So there's lots and lots of things that you can do with this wax. Claws, beaks, ears, noses. It really is quite versatile. Okay, so thank you very much for joining me. I hope this has inspired you to make some of your own noses. If you've got any questions at all, uh, please feel free to uh, message me. And I wish you all a very crafty day.